tracing features while editing in ArcGIS Pro. Today we're going to be talking about tracing a polygon feature to an existing outline. The outline can consist of line features or other polygon features. Here we have a polygon feature representing a proposed building surface. So we want to trace the polygon feature within the bounds of these lines representing the building that will be built. So first we're going to go to our analysis tab and click tools. Then we're going to search for create feature class. Here we are. First, we want to choose the directory where the feature class will be going. We'll give it a name. Something applicable like building polygon. Then we're going to set the type to polygon. We're going to choose the coordinate system which in our case will be the same as the current map. Then we're free to hit run. So we created our feature class. Now we're going to edit it by going to the edit tab. Click create. Click on the feature class that we want to edit and go to the trace tool. Before we use the trace tool, however, I would like to talk about the snapping feature. When you're creating geometric vector data, you'll want to use the snapping feature, especially for drawing complex shapes. To use the snapping tool, we'll go to the edit tab. We'll click on snapping. We can see that snapping is turned on, so we'll want to turn it on. Point snap allows you to snap to the nearest point feature. Endpoint snap allows you to snap to the nearest endpoint of a polyline. Vertex snap allows snapping to the nearest vertex of a polyline or a polygon feature. Edge snapping allows snapping to the nearest edge of a polyline or a polygon. Intersection snapping allows snapping to the nearest intersection of two or more lines or edges. Midpoint snapping allows snapping to the nearest midpoint of a polyline or a polygon segment. Tangent snaps allows you to snap to the nearest point of tangency of an arc or curved segment. Having all these snapping features activated will cover a bunch of bases and allow you to snap to a ton of different geometric features within ArcGIS Pro. So now let's go back to our trace tool. So we'll click the trace tool to activate it. And then we'll click on to our boundary feature. You'll notice that snapping is turned on. So we'll click it once and we'll start to trace the feature. You'll notice that if we keep the pointer loosely within the boundary, it'll trace the feature and we can double click it to finish up. And there we have it, our polygon traced to our boundary. Remember to save your edits. This procedure can get very complex depending on what type of data you're working with, but I'm hoping this allows you to use the trace tool to save some time when drawing a polygon within certain bounds. Thanks for watching.